Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. that is meat for days. This boy is thick. He's extra thick. Mr. Gilbert, you better come back, boy. You got pork chops for days. Yo, right, everybody, we are back to that very wholesome restaurant management sim. With nothing but delicious recipes on the menu, we're back to some more ravenous devils. Now, off camera here, I did a little bit of uh, grind. However, as you can see, I also have around $70 reduce left. And what can we do with that, you're asking? Well, first and foremost, I also got a mail, which we'll read here pretty soon. With our, you know, devious dude that wants to, uh, well, the guy that we did this here for. We'll read that here pretty soon. But one of the upgrades that I recently noticed was down here. Attendant. Hire an attendant that will serve your clients. You know who this is, right? Oh, we get a cutscene with it too. I'd imagine so. So how do we explain this? <laughs> Let's find out. Hi, nice to meet you. Percival told me all about you. Ah, uh, oh yes, my name is Joshua. I, I was Elliot's assistant, but I don't work for him anymore. He disappeared. I don't know where he's gone. People come and go all the time. The guy Mr. Percival told me that I could have worked here last time. Yes, I need a helping hand here in the pub. You'll be paid really well if you follow my instructions carefully. I mean, I'm not sure about that. We're already kind of rolling with, like, no money after we hired him. I'll do anything you ask, ma'am. Come with me. I'll explain everything to you. You're not going to take him downstairs, are you? <laughs> I imagine he just gets to stay up stay up here, not down here. Except, how would he serve the table people? Because I need him to come down to the stove to pick that up. This is the Expesita. Clients will take what they desire from it. You just need to put every meal that deliver deliver you on here. Fine. I'll send you meals using the dumb waiter back there. Oh, it's pretty easy, right? Uh, yeah, understood. You also need to remember to take orders from tables. I'll cook what they want to eat. I'll send you everything. In case you are really busy, prioritize clients at tables. They are worth more money to us. Uh, all right. I'm really fast, Hildred. I can handle this. Last but not least, the gin. I would like to buy a barrel of that for the clients in the future. We can serve it to clients at tables when they start to get bored, so that I get more time to get everything done. That's it. Uh, okay, I can manage this. Do you need any help in the kitchen? Oh, I was forgetting the golden rule. I forbid you to come into the kitchen. Like, you know, that wouldn't set off a red flag right there, like, hmm. Keep that in mind, or I'll fire you. Then again, considering this guy's situation, Probably best not to get fired, right? Might be his last chance. Oh, don't worry. I, I won't come down. Perfect. I like you. We'll do great work together. I'm sure about it. So, I could now just technically ignore what's happening up above. And just hang out down here. Perfect. No more up and down running back and forth. Let's give it a go here and see... Oh, the letter. Uh, you know, we'll read it after the first thing. I kind of want to see how this um, boil works out for us. So, as you can see down here, I already have a sausage and some regular meat ready to go, you know? I'm not going to commit to cooking either one just yet, because what if we get, like, a request for a pot pie and we need flour? What if we get a request for, like, you know, the, the corn dog? I'm not sure it's really... What the hell is this, by the way? I know we got a sausage here, but what the hell is this? I also already started with 8 of 9, in case you're wondering, because I'm, I'm low on meat. Which is the reason why I got those upgrades to the meat, so we'll see how it plays out over there. All right, I need you to greet the people as well. Be kind and courteous. And then after we sell one more, I guess we'll easily go ahead and um, make one of these and send it up there. We're about to sell it right now, as a matter of fact. So you know what? Let's start on it now. Let's make ourselves a pod pie because those go for a little bit more. We got our first table over there as well. So he'll take that order. How are we doing over here? Moving there. Already right, sold this. So he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. And he's picking up the order and then we'll know exactly what we need to do. Perfect. And as a matter of fact, it's the breaded sausage. Perfect. All right, I'll send you. I'll send you um the pod pie right now because we're that's ready to go. We have a customer here that I will murder. Very good. So meanwhile, that cooks for the customers at the table. That's and she mentioned a gym barrel. That's one of the upgrades that I plan to get eventually. So then we send this straight up. Perfect. Oh, it's so beautiful now. Get rid of this body, Falcon. 
Oh, another table. Okay, okay. We'll be there soon. And then we send that. That's gonna be the order. Don't forget that's the order, right, Doug? How does he know which one's the order or not? I, I hope he just knows. <laughs> I hope he just knows. Um, how about we stop holding this body in midair and like get rid of it? That's for the that's for the order, Doug. Oh, he knows. He knows. Look at this little guy. Yo, what a protege right there. He's so happy to serve him. Uh, pot pie. Oops. Uh, my bad. Forgot all about that. I got so you know I got so distracted. You know, I'm happy to see him be a go getter. Last order of sausage coming up. Last order of sausage. All right, let's start focusing on restocking here for the next day, and we'll read these two letters that we got now. Queued up here. Um, that's food I need to send up, right? Yeah. Okay, we have a little cutscene though before we get to read our letters. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. that is meat for days. This boy is thick. He's extra thick. Oh, good lord. Oh, stay calm, beast. Hi, I'm sorry, but we are closed. I'll be opening up soon. I still need to finish cooking. Oh, my dear, I'm sorry. I am Mr. Gilbert Weston. I was told that you have a skillful cook. Maybe my request will shock you. But I would like to cook the beast at this cage. My dog's birthday is approaching, and I would like to feed him this little hell beast. Ah, so you are Mr. Gilbert. It's a pleasure to meet you. You can call me Hildred. Do we know each other, Miss Hildred? Oh, no, no, no. I've heard your name from some of my customers. Anyway, what kind of animal is in that cage? Please take a look. It's a cat. I bought it to catch the rats in my warehouse. But it just sleeps and eats in complete, a complete waste of money. A cat? Mr. Gilbert, um, I must say that he seems to be sick. Yes, definitely sick. This poor animal will die soon. You shouldn't feed it to your dog. He'll get sick too. Oh, for goodness sake. Good thing you told me this, Hildred. If you want, I can take care of him, so he won't be a bother to you anymore. Oh, that would be great. Thank you very much. You will be doing me a huge favor. And remember to make that beast suffer. Goodbye, Mr. Gilbert. Mr. Gilbert, you better come back, boy. You got pork chops for days. What a, what a joyous day to come back to this game, huh? We get an attendant, we get a cat. It's perfect. Put him back there. Now, we don't necessarily want him in the kitchen, though, do we? I mean, cat hair, he kind of gets all over the place. Eh, yeah, whatever. If they don't complain about the human hair in their food, I guess they probably won't complain about the cat hair, right? Oh, poor boy, he was terrified. You're free now, kitty. No one will hurt you. Who knows? Maybe if I get a comfortable couch, he'll come back and stay with me. Oh, there's a comfortable couch upgrade? So he won't be here for now, maybe, until we get a comfortable couch upgrade. There's a new upgrade, apparently. Oh, no, new mail. Okay, so I need to read five, M5 still, which you haven't read, and we got M6. Hold up, is there a thing for this thing? For this, uh... The cat! Get a lovely friend in the kitchen and remember to pet him. I remember very clearly the moment this idea formed in my head. The balcony outside my bedroom offers a spectacular view. And when the fog fades, you can clearly see the city cemetery. One day I sat staring at it until dusk. I could not sleep at all that night. All I could think about was all that meat that was going to waste in such hard and desperate times. It is a shame to leave all the good food to the hungry worms in the ground below. As I read through biology books, I found out that in nature many animals, species eat their own apparently. Only human beings are used to depriving themselves of this habit. Intrigued by this idea, I decided to taste human flesh. But procuring a corpse was no mean feat. First, I visited the city hospital. The doctors have a glut of corpses to study and analyze at the moment. I requested a body from an acquaintance of mine, but he refused even after my attempt to grease his palm. It was a much simpler to convince the gravedigger though, I managed to secure a homeless man, whose disappearance no one would have noticed. I cooked his body in my kitchen, and ever since I tasted that flesh, I came to understand that I could not help but long for more. Later, however, people started to get suspicious, so to my regret, I decided to stop. Now you are here, what a blessing. I sincerely trust that the banquet will live up to my expectations. My dearest Rose, here we are with the second target. 
The hand of fate has fallen on my old friend Gilbert Weston, the only person who loves eating as much as I do. The other night, I hosted him at my house and talked to him about your shop. I told him of the excellent food of yours and Percival's smartly tailored suits. He seemed curious right away and told me he would certainly be paying you a visit. I truly love this man. He is the brother I never had. Eating him would be my sincerest gesture of friendship and appreciation. In that moment, we will become one. Man, this, this is like... <laughs> this is like some hardcore Silence of the Lambs vibes. P.S. I hope this time the process will be quicker. All this waiting is unnerving me. So he's gonna have a banquet of this guy and then Gilbert who we mention is just ready. Ready for the slaughter with all them thick thighs on him. Oof. Okay, we are ready to open up shop. Uh, one thing though is that we're very, very low on the meats. We got one prepared here. One sausage as well. But as you can see, we got one and one here as well. So we already got the upgrade for more meat. So we're getting three as opposed to two now from each one of these. The thing that we need now is his body, so Percival, today you need to be the MVP we deserve. The real MVP needs to be Percival and just toss those bodies down here as soon as possible. How you doing, sir? Go ahead and pick up your meat pies. Plenty of those for sale here. And we'll wait. We'll see if we get a table serving first so we get a restock of this place. Are you coming back here to perish, perhaps? No, you're here to just buy. Pick something up and I will restock, but the person behind you is indeed ready for the slaughter, I would say. No, he's just here to pick up the uh, suit as well. We got a first table client. All right, we'll find out soon what that is. Thankfully, I'm going to worry about those anymore. Just sit back here and cook them. He's waiting for his party. Gives us enough time to get this murder here off base. And now we just got to wait. How we doing back here? We have to uh, meat pie. Perfect. I might have to just throw some sausages up there because we have gone through. Oh, I should have gotten the sausage. The, the, well, the meat pie order first. Oh, there's another table. Ooh, maybe I cooked that a little bit premature, because we could probably use that for the next order. Oh well. We'll find out what that is here pretty soon. Let's clean up. The faster we clean, the more faster we get bodies up here. So, it's gonna require meat patties. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Well, let's send the first order up there first. Okay, another day in the bag. We got some guild of progress here. See, I was under the I was under the idea that maybe we actually might have to invest in the cat to get the Gilbert thing to progress forward. This is the lady from the start that wanted to apparently uh, die, and she conveniently kept telling that to Percival for some reason. Hello, I'm sorry to bother you. I know you are still closed, but I need something to drink. Oh, welcome back, darling. Sure, please sit. I'll get you some of our gin. And then this probably wouldn't have happened if we never got the gin upgrade. I'm sorry you had to go last time. I'm sure you can go back to Percival at any moment. Yeah, please, I need bodies. I'm actually very low on meat. He must have some time for you. Oh, no, don't worry. I don't need that dress anymore. Why the long face? Is there something on your mind? I've been thinking a lot lately. Do you ever wonder what lies beyond death? Only those who have enough to eat each day of their lives can afford to ask themselves such a deep question. With all due respect, of course. But you must have some kind of an idea. What's going to happen to your soul? Oh, we're going to hell. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. If it makes you any happier, I think death is just the absence of life. A dark void. And as for my soul, <laughs> I don't think this much I can do about it. I understand only darkness. Anyway, if I were you, I would concern myself with more worldly thoughts right now. Your bill, for example. You have an attorney to think about that. What if we hire her as our gin server? <laughs> there you go. Then, she's even taking the bottle with her. Uh, let's see, do we have more mayo? Yep, more mayo. As you may have already noticed, I choose my victims meticulously. Paying close attention to the lifestyle. The meat must be of the highest quality, so it would never have crossed my mind to eat at your place. Everyone in town seems to be satisfied with so little. I am sure Hildred must be an expert with seasoning and toppings. Well, I mean, she does a good job of hiding all the, um, bone and hair, that's for sure. Okay, so we're technically ready to open up shop when the woman I send this meat pie up here. Right now, the big concern, though, is meat. We, we got... 
We got no meat. We're like the anti-Arby's. We don't got the meat. So you know what? Let's do that. Let's pick up Gatoman for sure. And uh, give me the extra mannequin. That way I'm hoping, you know, more people come in with more mannequins up there. And then that's how we deal with our... Got a new recipe. That's how we deal with our... Apparently, the Gatoman is actually going to capture rats for us, and then we can sell the rats. And oddly enough, the rat is a three-star meal. Oh, oh, oh! Well, uh, let's give him a little pet. Oh, it's it's it. So adorable. Oh, it's so adorable. He's going to help us feed rats to the people that we're killing to feed back to themselves. It's basically the circle of life here happening. Let's see if I just send the rats up, he'll just put them in the display. <laughs> it worked. I mean... I mean, good God. How is this being sold, though? I mean, like, my, my, my idea made a bit more sense because I figured we were going to somehow... Maybe you mix it with the human meat? And it gives you like double as opposed to like filling up three slots in the display to fill up six, you know? Two meats, perhaps, right? But if you're putting it straight up on the display like that, I mean that somebody's giving you a rat on a stick. Okay, we're gonna open up shop here with nothing but rats on sticks for food display. I guess we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, I believe the pot pies we're getting is like 1.4. So <laughs> we'll see if the rat on a stick happens to be a better, you know sell for us more popular with the people let's see if they have any sort of issue with just basically buying these rats on a stick off the displays here meanwhile our gato is off there hunting as you can see we have a complete lack of food or at least meat anyway here it goes hey it's perfectly fine 265 well i think we found the big money maker going forward rats on the stick i should have known it was going to be the rats on the stick go get that order man as All right. As well, those are just selling off the shelves here. They're like hotcakes. Instead, hotcakes, they're, they're rats on sticks. Get that order. What do we got here? We need some murders here really quickly, though, because I got no sausage. Luckily, the first order is for a pot of pie. You already have one ready to go. Okay, this is a perfect day. Oh, Gato, I got to get you back to hunting. All right, I'll, I'll pet you here pretty soon. I'll pet you here pretty soon. You send this down. I need some sausage meats. Let me guess. The second order is going to be a sausage related, isn't it? No, it's another pot pie. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Um, that's already been sent up. Perfect. So grab this. Got oh, I forgot to pet the gato. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, we have finally opened up the gardens as well. So, we're gonna have some tomatoes growing. It's gonna probably increase how difficult. Why is there a why is there a head up there? You seeing this? There's a head up there. Here I am, ready to satisfy my wife's request again. Hildra needs tomatoes for some of the new recipes she has in mind. I can make some room in the attic greenhouse for some tomato plants. There's lots of sunlight up there, and I've already prepared something. But I need to finish setting it up completely. Let's take a look. Can you explain the head right there? Oh, this place stinks of carrion. But it looks good at least. Money really can't buy you anything in this world. Ain't that the truth? It would be the perfect place to grow tasty vegetables. I can plant tomato seeds in this topsoil container. But first, I need to put some fertilizer in the topsoil. I bought some fertilizer from a dealer at a ridiculous price. How can shit cost this much? Literally. I place it in the bucket near that broken bathtub. But I'm not spending another penny on it. I'll make some myself next time. Hmm. Through, um, human remains? I have a brilliant idea. I'm using a corpse. The bathtub will be my composter. Remember, man? That thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. Yeah, dust. Shit, in this case. Let's use some fertilizer. Hildred hates waiting. So, let's see here. We'll grab that, put it on the tomatoes. I'll make this quick. It's not the type of quickness she had in mind, I'm pretty sure, but hey. Your flesh will do great things. Some meat will be sacrificed, but if Hildred wants ingredients, this is the compromise we must make. Moving the house is going to work out, then. Obviously, we take our materials. 
put it in the compost. So instead of just dumping it down for her meat, we'll come up here, dump it in there, and this will give us how much? Time will do its job. It will take some time to decompose. Meanwhile, I'll grab those tomatoes. They seem to be ready to harvest. I deserve more money. Look at that. This almost looks like a, a regular game, right? <laughs> it's, it's just a dude up here in his attic. Getting some tomatoes. Farming. Gardening. I'll send the tomatoes down to Hildred using a dumb waiter. I tried it before, it should work. Hildred will take them in the kitchen. Percival has sent me plenty, some supplies already. What a sweet man. Let's take them. And we have our tomato stack over here, huh? Got to, I'll be with you soon. I know we need yeah, those meats for be. display. Oh, in case you guys are wondering too, I got up to the last table of display. So that way, if I just wait till we open up to fill it with nothing but rat meat, then I'm gonna worry about rushing around. We can basically just focus on this for them table orders. It'll be easier that way. Now I can have some fun cooking new recipes. And what recipes have opened up because of our tomatoes? Let's find out. Mm-hmm. Got like what seems to be almost like a lasagna. We got some meatballs, all right. Three stars, two stars. And again, we'll focus mainly on this just for the table meals. Um. The tomatoes really are just for the minced meat. Nothing for the uh, for the sausages yet. So yeah, as long as we simplify things, it should be a lot easier. Just focus on nothing but the regular human meat for the table orders, and then we just fill up the display with nothing but rat meat, and it basically works out. That's it. We're out of time with this. I'm going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Um, I'll continue going the entire thing if you guys want to. I'm doing this one as a bit of a follow-up to the second one, just kind of like, you know, lukewarm reception. I'm not sure it was, again, one of those days where YouTube just doesn't send notifications out, considering the first one was actually very much like, so we'll see. But I'll kind of use this one as a measuring stick. If you guys want to see more, do the entire thing. Let me know in the comments, and we'll definitely come back and complete it. Otherwise, hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I've shown you enough of the game here. Um, there's a lot to do, definitely. I mean, it's very simplistic, the gameplay, let's, let's be honest about that. But at least for the theme, I suppose, it's, it's morbid in a curious way. Morbid curiosity, some people call it, right? 